Did you know that forgiveness may be the key to a longer lifespan? How well do you sleep? Do you need more sleep? Perhaps you're taking too many medications. A 2005 study by the Journal of Behavioral Medicine showed that forgiveness is associated with a wide range of health measures, including medications taken, sleep quality, and fatigue. A recent study among 1,500 adults over the age of 66 identified unconditional forgiveness as a key to longevity. The Roberts initial reaction after their son shot 10 Amish girls, injuring five and killing five, was that they should move away. But that night, the Amish came to their house asking them to stay. The Amish are a conservative Christian group living in communities without modern conveniences and typically dressing in conservative black garments. Mrs. Roberts found herself overwhelmed by the love extended from this group that much of mainline society in the USA would consider awkward, even backward. Roberts said, there are not words to describe how that made us feel that day. The mother and father who lost two daughters at the hands of the Roberts' son were the first ones to greet them. The Roberts' reaction, is there anything in this life that we should not forgive? That night, the Amish demonstrated what we call unconditional forgiveness, which requires no retribution or apology for the harm caused. The Journal of Behavioral Medicine states in a 2011 study that people who practice conditional forgiveness, in other words, people who can only forgive if others first apologize or promise not to transgress further, may be more likely to die early. Douglas Horton said while seeking revenge, dig two graves, one for yourself. According to Thomas Carpenter, a researcher at Baylor University, one barrier people face in forgiving themselves is that they feel they deserve to feel bad. Their study found that making amends gives us permission to let go. Each Tuesday, Mrs. Roberts visits the home of one young girl paralyzed during her son's attack. According to the girl's father, it is often an emotional event with his daughter crying while Mrs. Roberts bathes and feeds her, but he would not stop this act of compassion. Perhaps you can think of someone that you have wronged or perhaps someone has wronged you. If you have not allowed yourself to forgive, you may be affecting your health. Are you an angry person? Have you considered the negative impact anger has on your health? According to Johns Hopkins Medicine, when you're chronically angry, you're in a fight or flight mode, which can have effects on blood pressure and heart rate. Forgiveness can get you out of the anger mode and eliminate harmful toxins that may be damaging your body. When you learn to forgive, your heart will thank you because forgiveness has been shown to lower blood pressure. For instance, a 2011 study of married couples in the journal personal relationships showed that when the victim in the situation forgave the other person, both experienced a decrease in blood pressure. In our fast-paced, mechanized societies, offenses are sure to occur. Families are thrust into the troubling dynamics of a global society that is rapidly changing due to the internet and TV. How Will you respond as these changes pressure your family and relationships? Although considered by many an awkward society, the Amish, motivated by Christ's love, reached beyond their great pain and found the ability to forgive. Today, you can be like the Amish. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, or if you've been unable to forgive yourself, Right now, you can pray this with me. You can say, Jesus, I ask you to take the pain that is in my heart. Help me forgive the people who have violated me. 
Forgive me, Lord, for those whom I have violated. I ask you right now to forgive me and to cleanse me and to come into my heart to help my emotions. Bring your divine love to my heart today. Release me from my sin and restore my hope. Now, if you prayed that prayer, I want you to know your heart has been opened to the love of God and He will be that healing salve that you need when you face tragedy and unforgiveness. Go to my website today and look for our resources. You can find vital elements of life. You can find new hope for new life today and resources that will strengthen you on your course to recover.